Welcome back to the Le Petit Saint Crochet blog. I'm Elise and today I am so excited to share two things with you. Number one, I want to introduce you to little Rosemary Rabbit. Isn't she so cute? I just love her. And number two, maybe you'd be surprised to learn that I finished her at 30,000 feet in the air. Yep, on an airplane. Now recently my husband and I made a trip out to Oklahoma to see our daughter graduate with her master's degree and it was going to be a really short trip so I debated whether or not I should even bring a project because I didn't know if I was going to have time but thankfully I did because the airplane is a great place to knit or crochet. So I would love to hear from you. Have you ever traveled with your handmade projects? Do you have any tips and tricks for us and if you haven't what are the things that you would like to know? Airport, I am keeping my fingers crossed that I can get through security with my knitting and crochet hooks. And um, this is Mr. Le Petit Saint Crochet. Hello. And we are heading to Oklahoma to watch our daughter graduate with her master's degree. Yay! So wish me luck that I get through security and I'll keep you updated. When traveling with handmade projects, it's best to K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, sweetie. I tend to overpack. I want to bring every single thing I own. That way I know that I have everything I need, but that really doesn't work when you're bringing handmade projects. So for my Amigurumi project, these are the things that I brought, and I feel like these are basically the absolute necessities. These are the things that you will need if you want to finish your project. First, you need the correct crochet hooks and needles. Make sure you check your pattern because you may be surprised that the project requires more than one size hook or needle. Number two, you need your yarn, obviously. And I'm gonna be honest here, I like to bring extra because the last thing I want to happen is to get partway through something and realize I need more yarn. Number three, stuffing. I actually bring stuffing with me and I almost forgot to bring that which would have made finishing her absolutely impossible so don't forget to bring your stuffing. Number four, you need yarn needles, stitch markers, embroidery scissors, embroidery floss, and safety eyes. All of those little finishing things that you are going to need to make your project. And number five, don't forget to bring your pattern. That's another thing I almost forgot. But also, if you like to take notes, which I do, I always write all over my patterns, bring a pencil, and I like to use a mechanical pencil because the end is always sharpened and it has a nice, good eraser. We made it through security and they didn't even have to check my knitting needles or my crochet hooks, yay! So now that you know what you're bringing, it's time to pack it all up. So what I did was I got a fairly large size carry-on bag. I like to have a big one, um, the biggest I can get away with. And what I did was I put all of the supplies that I needed to work on Little Rosemary here in a separate bag that I could put inside of my carry-on. And I actually had room enough to put my purse in there as well. So that way, when I was ready to work on Little Rosemary, I could just unzip my carry-on and pull out that smaller bag. Now, the thing that I did, which I'm really glad that I did this, was when I packed my polyfill stuffing, I placed it in a gallon size Ziploc bag. And actually, this is what I ended up having left. So I, I had way too much. But that's okay, I could bring it home and this way it was contained and I could get out what I needed and not worry about a big huge bag in my carry-on. Went through TSA again, through the security check and they put my bag through twice through the scanner. So. I'm sure they were looking at my scissors and my knitting needles, but just be advised, don't bring long scissors. Don't bring those big long ones because they're gonna take them away from you. So I have just my little tiny embroidery scissors. Now that we've talked about what to pack, let's talk about what not to pack. Going through security is a little bit of a stressor for me, especially when I am bringing all these supplies. I had multiple sets of 
knitting needles and I wanted to make sure that I came home with all of those knitting needles. Now, number one, do not bring huge scissors like this. Trust me, trust me, trust me, don't. I just brought my tiny little embroidery scissors because these are going to get taken away from you. Now, when I was in line for security, they actually put my carry-on bag through twice and I started to get really nervous thinking, oh my goodness, please don't take away any of my supplies because I had my favorite hook in there and my favorite um, knitting needle. So make sure you check with the TSA website about what you can and cannot bring for your handmade projects. This next tip is only for those of you who like to get to places early like I do. My husband and I had a discussion the morning that we were leaving for the airport because I wanted to leave at a certain time and I wanted to get to the airport quite early. And my husband travels all the time for his job and likes to get places exactly just in enough time to get there and that just totally stresses me out. So he agreed to do it my way. And we got to the airport in plenty of time for me to be able to um, knit. And that was wonderful because actually we probably had a good 30 minutes. And when you have uninterrupted time like that, it's surprising how much you can actually get done. I found that time sitting on the airplane was actually quite productive. It was way more productive than I actually even thought it was going to be. Our flight was a little over two hours, so once we took off and we got to cruising altitude, I was able to get my project out and I just started working. And when you have no other distractions and when there is literally nothing else you can do, getting work done on a project is absolutely ideal. Now, the only challenge with that is, you know, you're not in a great big space and thankfully my husband and I were in a row that there were just two seats, so it was just him and I. So I could actually use my tray table and his. So it actually worked out wonderful. So take advantage of those times when there is literally nothing else you can do. The trip is over. We are heading back to the airport and surprisingly, I got a lot, lot done on my little bunny rabbit and we're heading to the airport right now and I'm gonna have two more hours and maybe I'll finish it. Now one thing I want you to be aware of when you are traveling with handmade projects is people are going to be curious. People are going to come up to you, complete strangers are going to talk to you, which is a actually it's a wonderful thing. Because in our day and age when everybody is on their phones, everybody is on their electronics, they've got their headphones in, no one talks to each other, it's actually a wonderful thing. The flight attendants want to talk to you, the other passengers want to talk to you, they're all so, so curious about what you're doing and I find that this is a wonderful time to evangelize for crocheting and knitting and amigurumi. It's absolutely wonderful and you get to have such lovely conversations with people and they share about what they do and they talk about their grandmothers and the projects they used to make and somehow I think it just brings a little bit of joy into someone else's life. Little Rosemary and I are so glad that you joined us today in our little crochet room. And please, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share it with your friends. I am Elise with the Le Petite Saint Crochet Blog and I love sharing all about creative crochet, whimsical amigurumi, and running a handmade business.